Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are going to be looking at the 50 foot plug door box car, Delaware and Hudson. All right, so when we open up the box, we're gonna have the body. We're gonna have the underframe. We should have a bag of parts. There should be a weight and we will have the floor. Don't forget the instructions. Inside the bag of parts, there should be two trucks, two screws for the trucks, a brake wheel, two horn and hook couplers, which we will not be using. We will be using two KD number no. five hooks and springs and two coupler box covers. Okay, we are going to start off with our underframe. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to go over the underframe and check to make sure that there is no flashing or anything sticking up that will get in the way. After we've checked for flashing, the next thing we're going to need to do is put in our number five couplers. So we're going to start off with the spring and then the coupler. We're going to put a little bit of Katie Greasem in there, just a little puff. And then for the coupler cover, the coupler cover should just pop right over top and clip down just like that. You want to make sure it's free and you may want to just make sure that it is actually clipped on. Take a pair of pliers gently ensure that it is clipped on and then we can go ahead and do the other side okay once we have that all done the next thing we're going to do is take our floor and again we're going to check for any flashing that's sticking up anywhere from the, the molding and make sure that the weight is going to sit down nice and flat okay so once you've checked for all the flashing in there we're going to take our weight now this weight has already been painted and we're gonna make sure you wanna look down the edge of the weight to make sure that it is straight. This one looks pretty good. Obviously we've already painted it and already gone through it. So we're gonna sit our weight down on the floor and then we are going to put our underframe on top of that. Clip down in there like so. And then we can go ahead and we can put our wheel sets on. When you got it out down, you want to make sure that there is still enough movement for the truck. You don't want to do it down too tight or strip the hole. That wouldn't be good. And make sure it's free moving. And then we can go ahead and do the other side. Again, make sure it's free moving. Very nice. And then we have the floor all done. Next is the body. Now there's not much to the body. It's pretty simple. All we are going to do is stick our brake wheel in right into the end there. Now this here, you can see it just kind of slid right in and it's going to slide out. So we are actually going to need a little bit of glue on there. So we're going to use a uh, testers plastic cement. All you're going to do is just put a little dab on the end like so carefully stick it in there, not to get glue all over the place like that and then just let it dry. After that's all done, we can go ahead and we can stick our body onto our end floor. Slide right in there like that. Make sure you get it all the way in on, all, on both ends. There we go. Now we just need to check for coupler height. Okay, so we got it on our coupler height gauge here. And if we look, we can see that it lines up pretty nicely. That trip pin there just kind of touches the bottom there. It's not bad. I'll probably end up leaving it like that. It shouldn't give you any difficulty. It does uh, sit above the track, so that should work just fine. So there we have our 50 foot plug door box car, all ready for the layout.